union has limited competencies and gets blamed for it can do nothing about. True. They discuss things that are not the competency of the European Union, but then they stop there. With the contrast, with the uh, disagreement, and in this way the situation is uh, uh, blocked. What it is to be a European? I think even today it is still a very small group of people who interact across borders who feel European. So we are not in an obviously good position to offer solutions to the problems afflicting European integration. We are creating more and more um, bubbles that are becoming the increasingly isolated from each other. We may know the truth, but frankly nobody cares anymore, and maybe if nobody cares we should interrogate our holdings of the truth. We should look to the fact that we have a common identity and on this common identity we have to build the new Europe. You really think that uh, Homer is a Greek writer or Shakespeare is an English writer or Dante is an Italian poet? They felt European. All of them felt European, and today this is the background of our common culture, then of our common identity. European history can be understood as a continuous struggle for freedom. There is one common goal, peace and freedom, democracy and the rule of law, mutual respect and responsibility, prosperity and security, tolerance and participation, and justice and solidarity. I'm really convinced that the Europe, for this reason, protecting these values, is a pillar for the future of the humankind.